What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and tonight, man, I'm going to talk about tonight's game. You had the number six ranked LSU Tigers beating the Georgia Southern Eagles 55-3, to yo. Um, just getting back from back home from going to the stadium, went out to Death Valley tonight. Great atmosphere, man. Um, you know, football is back. <laughs> like everybody was excited to see football back, man. And boy, did we get a treat tonight, yo. Um, LSU has a new offense, y'all. <laughs> like LSU has a new offense, man. Um, you know, Jambalaya Joe was out there. He broke a school record as he threw five touchdown passes in the first half, yo. Uh, broke a school record for most touchdown passes in a half. Terrence Marshall Jr. caught three of them. Justin Jefferson caught one, and um, Jamar Chase caught another one. Uh, you know, we came. We was no huddle. Hurry up. Um, Jambalaya Joe just looked at absolutely spectacular out there tonight, man. He was extremely efficient. I think he was 23 for 27 for like 270-something or 290-something yards with the five TDs, no picks. Um, he was decisive. He took his shots when they were there, when his shots wasn't there. He didn't hang on to the ball and wait for them to get open. He checked it down to his running backs, yo. So he he played very, very well tonight. Miles Brennan got a little run in the second half. You know, he had some good moments, man, but then he also had a couple of other moments where he held on to the ball a little too long. Um, the offensive line looked as solid. Now, granted, it's not Alabama's D-line they went up against or Florida's D-line or Georgia's D-line or nobody like that. But, you know, nevertheless, you know, LSU's offensive line played solid tonight. Um, I love I love Thaddeus Moss in his offense, man. Obviously, everybody knows he's the son of Hall of Fame wide receiver Randy Moss. I cannot tell you the last time that LSU threw the ball this consistently to a tight end. <laughs> like, I don't remember the last time we, like, went out there and threw more than two passes in one game <laughs> to a tight end, man. And we really used him out there, yo. He's a big body, got really good hands, runs nice routes, has has good, you know, good speed. And he's a threat, man. He's a real receiving threat in this offense, yo. Caught a, caught a couple of passes out there. I'm loving the tight end position. Um, the backfield, man, Um, obviously Clyde, Clyde edwards Hila is, is, you know, the starter right now. But Lenar Fournette got out there. Um... Davis Price got out there. Emory Jr. got out there. The one thing that I was very extremely pleased to see from all of the running backs pretty much out there, they all caught the ball. Like, you could tell, like, this offense now has running backs catching the ball, especially Clyde edwards Elad, man. He was running, like, real sincere routes out there. And whenever guys wouldn't open down the field, Jambalaya Joe, he didn't stay on his read. He went to his read, he went through his progressions quickly, and then he checked it down, yo. Uh just to keep, you know, to keep the, the um to keep the chains moving, to keep the the clock running, to I mean not to keep the clock running, to keep this offense in the rhythm that is in. Because obviously when you completing passes, you can continue to hurry up. Whenever you throw an incompletion, then you gotta go back to the huddle. So, you know, he would, the, the running backs are catching the ball out of the backfield, man. And when they get the ball in their hands, man, they could they talented running backs, so they could make people miss or they could try to run through people to pick up some extra yards. Wide receiving core was amazing, man. <laughs> like, those guys are dangerous. We have a very deep, dangerous wide receiving core, especially the big three, I'm going to call them now, like with Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and Terrence Marshall Jr., yo. Those guys are dangerous, man. Those guys are out there running good routes, catching the ball, and they're dangerous once the ball in their hand to, you know, to get some yards after catch, Um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, wide receivers were really, really good, man. Overall, just a really good performance for this offense, man. I, I I loved it, man. We've been, you know, you've seen a little bit of it in the spring game. You've been hearing about it, but LSU truly is a spread team now, yo. 
um, spreading people out with all the wide receivers we have out there. We're using the tight end in the passing game, and we're also using the running back in the passing game, which means now, and the quarterback is experienced, and, you know, decisive. Now, let's see how we do when the competition ramps up. But, you know, you like the fact that we went out there and we didn't play around with this team. We went out there and put up points early and often, yo. Um, as far as defensively, man, the defense looked pretty good out there, yo. Um, on the D-line, Tyler Shelvin had a really good game, man. I feel like he played very, very well out there. He was just in the backfield wreaking havoc and disrupting. Uh, disrupting a lot of things that Georgia Southern tried to do. Um, Rashard Lawrence got the big, you know, strip sack um, early on in the game. Um, it was good to see Clavion Chase on out there, you know, flying around, you know, sporting that 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 famous number eighteen making plays. Um, the linebacking core, man. Um, you know, obviously we missing Devin White. We shout out to Devin White. He was honored tonight at the game. He was there. But, um, you know, Jacob Phillips, Patrick Queen, DeMond Clark, you know, the freshman was all out there making plays. And this secondary, man, is – now, granted, we didn't get tested through the air too much tonight because Georgia Southern is a very, very, very run-heavy offense. But those guys came out there and tackled tonight, man. I mean, Grant Delp, with, he just picked up where he left off, man, recovered a fumble and was just all over the place making plays. Um, Jacoby Stevens looked it very good out there tonight, man, as he was just a real short tackle out there, made some really good open field tackles. Christian Fulton had a solid game. And how about this true freshman, Derek Stingley Jr., man? Not only is he getting up there, you know, defending, like starting, you know, quality football in a big-time program as a true freshman at corner, but he's also our primary punt returner. And he had a really, really nice return early on in the um in the game, yo, to set up our second touchdown of the game. Um, Todd Harris came in and played a little bit, you know. Um man, <laughs> like the team looked good tonight, man. What can I see? Uh LSU looked it extremely well tonight. And I granted, Georgia Southern is not Alabama, they're not Florida, they not e they not Texas, who we got the showdown with next week, you know, as they handled their business beating La Tech 31 to nothing. But, you know, this ain't no scrub team either, man. I mean, this team won 10 games last year. Granted, regardless of what the competition was, whether it was Sunbelt competition or not, this team won 10 games and won a bowl game last season. So they have a decent program over there. And LSU just went out there, man, and just completely took this team apart as soon as this ball was kicked off. It was very great to see, man. It goes to show you that, you know, Coach Coach O and this, this coaching staff had these guys ready to play. It's a lot of times that I've seen LSU teams, you know, be very, very lackluster in their performance going up against lesser opponents where, you know, the game don't really get put away till the fourth quarter or the, all the starters are out there till like mid to deep in the fourth quarter. Um, we went out there, hand, I want to say we scored touchdowns on our first five possessions, I want to say, if not six. Um, like I said, Jambalaya Joe, efficiency was just very, very well. He was just very efficient tonight, very decisive, man. If he's going to play football like this, though, because he has weapons. We have weapons out there, man, with our wide receivers, with our tight ends and our running backs now catching the ball out of the backfield. Um, the, as long as the O-line could just hold up, man, he has weapons out there to work with. So, you know, Innsminger and, and, and Brady out there just, you know, it's calling a great game plan, man. I love the no huddle. I love, you know, going up there, snapping it quick. It was, time, it was so funny because we snapped the ball so quick that, you know, when the band got to playing, the band had to stop playing like, oh, oh, snap. They about to snap the ball again, yo. So, um, yeah, man, um, just a very, very entertaining, very fun, you know, game, just a very fun offensive performance, very stout defensive performance. I mean, overall, great performance, man, heading into a big, 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 big game next week with the Texas Longhorns, man, as we go play them in their stadium. After tonight, now, I know Texas looked good also tonight, you know, with a, um, 
Well, I think their score actually was 45 to 14. My bad. I know they was up 31 nothing, but I think the final was 45 to 14. You know, that's another tough opponent, man. So I'm looking forward to that game. I give I give LSU an A plus tonight, man. I mean, considering everything, you could have had a letdown. You could have not really show much offensively. I feel like LSU had an A plus tonight. Um, another thing too, man, that I thought was funny. If you if you ever go to LSU game, man, when you hear when you hear the Tiger band play neck, man, you will be entertained. <laughs> that's that's all I gotta say about that. When you when you if you go to LSU football game and the band plays, you know, neck, you will be entertained <laughs> by what everyone is chanting while the neck is neck is being played, yo. But um man, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight, man. Appreciate y'all checking out the video, yo. Y'all go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. I'm going to have LSU football content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I will do a live Q&A, man. Y'all come on there. Y'all ask me anything. I'll answer your questions. Also, shout you out during the live, yo. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.